Hi, this is Todd, and today we're going to take a look at how to fix an image that has a blown out sky. Uh, we know the cameras don't always have as high of a dynamic range as uh, the human eye does, so sometimes we'll take a shot and it just doesn't look quite right with the blown out sky. So what we're going to do, is we're, first of all, we're going to select color range. We're going to select the sky, and when you move the slider a little bit too high, you see that the hairs start to get selected. We don't want that. We want to just get it to the point where all the hairs just disappear. The red of 155 looks good. Hit OK. And now we've got our selection, but we need to subtract away the area that we don't want the sky to appear in. So I'm going to hold my Alt key. It's going to bring up the minus on the selection tool, which I'm using the polygonal lasso tool. And I'm just going to select all the areas inside the horse's face and in the grass where we don't want the sky to show up. Just doing a really quick job here just to try to demonstrate this and now we have our selection now we can go to our layers tab make a new layer we're gonna click make uh, a new layer mask and what we're gonna do I just unchecked the lock on there I'm gonna open up this other image that I already had opened up this is a clouds image from a nice sunny day and I'm gonna paste this in right here so now I've got my clouds image, I can move it around anywhere in the mask and it's only showing up where I've made my my selection there. So now you want to make sure that your clouds are you know, covering all the areas where the white was selected and that looks about right. But the thing is it's a little too saturated, it's a little too too blue for this photo. So I'm going to take down the opacity of it just a tad, just until it looks right it's personal preference whether you want it to be super saturated or if you think it looks better like this or whatever um, at this point you'd want to you'd check your work, you want to zoom in everything looks pretty clean, I mean you, you could get crazy you could go in, you can get this better but for a quick five minute uh, fix that'll repair most photos um, you could still go in and you can touch up spots that you might see that got you know a little too close other than that, this is pretty clean. A little bit of the snout, I might be able to touch up right here. The trickier part with the hairs, I wasn't fully zoomed in either. But let me take a look at the thing overall. The next thing I might do, since I sell these photos for a living, uh, I might get rid of those flies that are on his face. So I'm going to take my patch tool and I'm just going to drag it off. And that gets rid of the flies all gone. Alright, at this point maybe I'll do a little bit of saturation increase on the horse. Just a little bit. Just to kind of match the, the vivid sky. Very subtle. And then I'm going to take I'm going to do an unsharp mask. Just do your standard small amount with a bigger radius and what this is going to do is, this, as you can see, before, after, it's going to make a big effect, really make the horse pop. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I want to thank Brooke for the photo. He sent me this. He wanted to show me what his new lens could do at 10 millimeter. As you can see, it's a huge wide angle lens. I mean, it's super wide. Um, if you'd like to see some more of his work, check him out at brookwhatnall.com. You can see a lot of his beautiful nature shots. And if anyone has a suggestion for more um, tutorials, if they want to see anything specific, give me an email and I'll try my best. Thanks a lot.